the, the slight slalom out and through that ladder gate. Here comes Achilles for the win. Two more turns for Achilles. Nerve-wracking is the first word I can come up with for sure. Um, I think I did a pretty good job working my nerves down, um, and uh, at the end of the day, I, I made it work. But um, it's an honor to be with such a stacked crowd. I mean, AK and Rab um, and a bunch of other fast guys um, are really, really talented. So um, it's an honor to be uh, in first place for sure. Well, there's so many people here who haven't even seen FPV. Um, tons of spectators seen it for the first time, and people like Isaac, um, talking them through what this is, uh, showing them what it's like, uh, you know, and that's just great because every, every single person who sees that, that might inspire somebody to, to join the hobby um, and eventually come and race here in other races as well. These are the micro drones that we will be flying this weekend. As you can see, they really do fit in the palm of your hand. Um, we, we can fly these things anywhere from, you know, creeping speed to, uh, to somewhere around 40 miles per hour. My name is Susan Smith and my pilot handle is Roo because kangaroo is my favorite animal. They're the most adorable things, they're fearsome, they carry little babies in their pouch, like who couldn't love a kangaroo? It's truly a great way to get anybody into STEM education. It teaches you soldering, electronics, programming, video editing. It's a great way to even potentially launch a career. You could do real estate, there's power line inspections, there's so much that drones can open a door for. Every year it's been like a, a larger and larger track and just seeing new people come in, you see new pilots coming in here to try it. You got some of the old classic pilots in here and just every year it's one of the best events. Uh, don't miss it for anything. This year's, we've got like the, not just the ladder is like a tight technical section, but you've also got the upper windows and the, uh, the Q section around the twin Mustang. And so it's just like, it's being a more involved track and it's making it really fun. My grandpa, uh, he was, he come with me to a lot of the races that I went to, and he's like, well, you know what, I want to get into whoop flying too. So I built him a whoop, and uh, this year was his first year uh, flying uh, at this event, and this was actually his first race he's ever been to. I'm having a great time up here. It's my first time of flying my whoop up here. Just being with Blue Jay and watching all that he does here, it's, it's just a great place to come to and say that you flew. There's so much history in here that if you can say you flew in here, you've, you've uh, done good. Blue Jay is my grandson. He got me into this, flying around, and uh, he bought me one for a birthday present and started me flying it. And from then on, I've been trying to get better and better, and he keeps improving my stuff that I work with, my drones. He builds them for me if I need one built. He, he takes care of me, I'll say that. It doesn't matter where you come from or your age um, or your gender. And one of the good things about it is that the community is really, really good. Um, they will be super inclusive. They will always make sure that you are being helped. If you have any questions, they will be answered by the community. So I think that anybody that wants to get into this should most definitely give it a shot. Um, we are very welcoming. <laughs> I was here when I was very young with my parents and I never came back because I moved back to Mexico. Um, I was born in Cincinnati and one time we had a free weekend and we came here and one of the airplanes made me cry <laughs> because it's painted with, um, it looks like a shark or something and it's really scary and when I was little I cried but I wanted to come back. How was the race? <laughs> it was so much fun. Oh my god, I, I was this close to not making it and I made it. Oh, that was, that was, I was shaking, I was shaking, so I'm still in. <laughs> my dad was one of the people that inspired me to get into drones because he's all, he was always looking for new technologies and um, he's, he was a geologist and we started looking into drones and I started building my own. It was 2013, I believe. DJI did not have reliable commercial drones, so we had to build our own back then um, because they were easier to fix when you were on the field, which was all the time. One day I found a kit that was an FPV racing kit and it was at Hobby King. And I thought, oh, well, I'll just buy it and see what it is. And, and then I just got sucked into FPV racing. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> I realized that so much um, flight innovation has come out of the United States Air Force. It's one of the leading uh, innovators for flight period ever and that's an unbelievable thing to recognize. Looking around and this this is one of four or more gigantic hangars that are Tetris full of 
incredible planes. And like, there's one over us right now. I've never seen that thing. I had no idea that existed. Uh, but that's an incredible part of the story of the innovation of aviation. I consider all these pilots to be real pilots. And I consider some of the minds that are here operating these little tiny aircraft might be the greatest minds that have ever operated an aircraft before. Uh, the skill level that you'll see at this race in particular is some of the top minds on the planet uh, flying anything in my opinion. Tiny Whoop has had a huge advantage for a lot of reasons. First of all, it's the safest drone in the world. It's also incredibly accessible, it's cheap, it's really easy to get into compared to bigger drones, and it can give you the completely immersive gift of flight. And that's what people are falling in love with. It's, it does feel, once you get used to the controls, which takes a little bit of time to get over a learning curve, but then, you know, it becomes second nature and it almost feels like you were always meant to fly. And that does make you want to try to get into a career where you can exercise that gift that, that feels so natural now. So yeah, people are coming out of Tiny Whoop and going into real estate photography. They're going into nature photography. Uh, one of my favorite Tiny Whoop pilots just got done filming with David Attenborough for the BBC. Um, the very first pilot I ever sponsored, Jordan Temkin, went on to win the Drone Racing League two years in a row, and now he's working with all kinds of uh, documentary companies filming in the mountains, and it's a, it's a perfect place to start if you're interested in getting into drones. And I don't feel no shame, it's a mood you lack I go crazy, got visions in my head Like memories after death To be a legend instead Of something you can forget I'm living up every breath I'd rather leave than be led I'll fill the seats as I spread With every word that I've said Awesome. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> 